Hi everyone, Derek Hooper here. Today I want to talk to you about being able to control your distance when you're hitting pitch shots into a green. Now remember, pitch shots are played when we're too close to the green to make a full swing, but we're too far away to be able to hit a chip shot. The pitch shot's going to come in nice and high, when it lands on the green it's going to roll a very short distance, but we need to be able to control where the ball's going to land, and I'm going to show you a great little exercise today so that you can learn how to control your distances consistently, and as a result you're going to be able to get the ball closer to the hole more often. So here I am out on the range, and you can see I've got some targets set up for me for my distance control exercise. I have flags set up at 10 yard increments starting at 10 yards. And what we're going to do today is show you how can I hit the ball to consistently known distances so I, therefore I get the ball close to the hole. So we talked about in an early video about making sure, you know, ball's in the middle, weight's a little left. I want to get back to here, let my arms drop and the club's going to brush the turf on the way through. The way you're going to control distance with this is you're going to vary the length of your swing. So what we're going to talk about is having three different length swings. And we're going to reference them by in the back swing I want to get my hands to belt high is going to be one. So we're going to call that hip high. The next one's going to be chest high, which is when my hands are level with my chest or my left arm's horizontal. And then from there, the follow through would be the same length. And the third distance is going to be shoulder high and then the shoulder high and the follow through as well. So I've got three different length swings. And in my set, I happen to have a sand wedge, a gap wedge and a pitching wedge. So I've got three different clubs. So if I've got three different clubs with three different length swings, I'm going to have nine different distances that I can hit these shots. Now the first part of today's exercise is for me to figure out how far each of those clubs are going to go with those given distances. So I start off with, I'm not going to hit towards a particular flag, I just want to set up, I'm going to make some swings where I'm going to start with just hip high, just hip high back and hip high through with my 58 degree wedge, and I'm just going to discover how far it goes. So that went about 15 yards. I'm going to do that again. Same thing, I'm just trying to go hip high to hip high and allow the ball to get in the way. Okay, a little thin that time. I need, what I'm looking for is I need to hit enough good shots that I can figure out how far the ball is going to travel. Okay, then I went about 16 yards. So I'd hit 10, 15 balls until I figure out how far it's going to go with that length swing. I'd get out a scorecard and I'd write that down. The next thing I then want to do is I'm going to go through the same exercise again, but now I'm going to go chest high to chest high in the follow through. Again, hitting enough golf balls that I figure out how far the ball goes. And again, I record that distance. And then I'm going to go shoulder to shoulder, write that down. I'm going to do that also with my gap wedge and my pitching wedge. So now I've got a grid written down on a scorecard that's got nine different distances with the three clubs and the three different length swings. So now that I know what each of the swings and the clubs will do, now I want to go through an exercise where I apply that. So if I'm standing up here on the range, I've got my targets down the range here. I'm going to start off with, I want to hit a ball that's going to land between 10 yards and 20 yards. So I know that this, my 58 degree wedge is going to go from hip high to hip high is going to go 15 yards. So I stand up and I hit that shot. If I land it in between the 10 and the 20, that's wonderful. The next shot I want to hit is then between the 20 and the 30. If I miss on the first attempt, I'm going to do it again until I have success. And my idea is that I basically want to walk it up the ladder that I've got out on the range there. So one between 10 and 20, then one between 20, 30, one between 30, 40. So I'm applying that pattern that I learned earlier with my length of swings and my different clubs to give me different length shots. Once I can walk it up the ladder, then I'm going to walk it back. The next challenge you can set for yourself is then start to record how many shots does it take you to walk both up the ladder and then back again. And that will be a really good test for you. You get to change clubs every shot. You get to change swing length. We get to change distance distances that you're trying to hit it. So it's much more like what you're going to face on the golf course in that we're consistently hitting different shots each time rather than trying to hit the same shot over and over again. If you can get pretty good at walking it up that ladder and back down again, I guarantee you you're going to be able to transfer that out onto the golf course. So get away. Put some sticks down on the range like I've got here. You can also use driveway markers or alignment rods. You can use cones that you can get at the sports store or markers you can get at the sports store. And then the idea is walk it up that ladder and then walk it back down again once you've figured out what your distances are. Then you can apply it to the golf course. You'll have a lot more fun because you'll know how far you've got to hit. You know how long your swing is to produce the different distances and you'll be able to get the ball closer to the hole far more often. So good luck with that.